Welcome back to the Morning Edition. We are now live in the kitchen of the University of the Bahamas as the ham and turkey are being prepared. Our Kelsey Johnson is standing by. Kelsey? Jimanita, Jimanita, I was in the kitchen all night cooking up some delicious, I mean, if you can just zoom in on this turkey. Jimmy, I did my thing this morning and all last night on this particular turkey. I have two here and like they say, it's turkey day, but Bahamians, we love our ham. And I have about four trays of ham. I have already sliced them up. I said from 1 a.m. this morning, I was up cooking, making sure that everything is prepped. We're going to have a big, delicious lunch there on top of the hill at Zadines. Jimmy, if you miss it, oh my gosh, I know you get off at 1230. There's ham, there's turkey. Look how I cut this ham. So nicely slim. Oh, wow. Jimmy, you don't even understand. But let me let you know the truth, Jiminita, and the rest of the Bahamas. I had help from a young chef. Can I get your name for the record again? Salva Hudson. All right, Salva. If you could just tell me the preparation, the time that went into making sure that you were prepared. I didn't tell the Bahamas it was me and you. So that we were prepared for this morning's show. Um, well, we first started off, we had to boil our ham, and then we let them cool, and then we put them in the refrigerator so they could be more firm in order to slice them more thinly, and then we had our turkey, we had to break them down, some we fully deboned them, and then some we just 50% deboned them, took out the middle carcass so we could get our stock going, we made a uh, brown stock, and then we made a uh, Hispaniola sauce, and then we made a white stock, and we made our uh, white um, we made a velouté sauce. Then we have our ham here. We took the pineapple juices from the ham and we made our glaze. And then you could just put that right on the ham like that before you push it back in the oven, right before serving. And then we... So how long will I put... Let me put this back in the oven. How long should this cook? Once you put this back in the oven on a low heat, just so it can get heated back up, you could put that in there for about 30, 40 minutes and then I'll be just nice. Now, Salvin, I see we have some yams here. We've already glazed them as yes, well. Yes, ma'am. We've sliced our yams and we have blanched them, which is we just put them in hot water and then take them out and put them into cold water so they could stop cooking. And then we glaze them with our honey glaze sauce. And then once we turn on our ovens, we're going to put them in the oven for about 30 minutes. Then we're just going to put the marshmallows on top and put them back in for another five minutes so the marshmallows can melt and they'll just be nice. <laughs> So what are we going to do with these cherries? I see we have a lot of cherries here. Well, yes, right we here. have our pineapples and our cherries, and we can just put our pineapples on top of our ham just so we could get the extra flavor and for decoration. Oh, and put our that's cherries cute. Right there. Yes. I'm cooking. Look at me. <laughs> I'm so excited. Am I making a mess? Or it's okay to let some of the... Just bring it closer. And what, what is all in this particular sauce here? In this particular sauce, we put our pineapple juice, mustard, and brown sugar. And then in order to thicken it and get the nice smoothness, we made a cornstarch slurry, which is just yes, cornstarch and water, and we whisk it in there rapidly while the water is boiling in order to thicken it up. Now, you mentioned deboning a turkey. Can you just show us exactly what do you mean by when the turkey is deboned and when it has the bone? Um, well, with the turkey, you have the whole turkey. We basically put the turkey on its back mm -hmm. and we slice right down the middle rib and the back and we carve around the sides right against the bone until we have the two flaps of the turkey, which would be the wing and the leg on one side. And then we take the legs and the wings and we carve around those and take the bone out of those. And then we have here our roulade. We just rolled it and then baked it just like that. And then all you have to do is just slice it and you have just 100% meat, no bone. So which one is better for serving? Better for serving, I'd say the roulade one because it's easier to carve. All you have to do is just slice and then you have more evenly portion sizes for your customers. Now, we can take the spotlight. We are being joined this morning by another young chef. She's over here. She has a, a lot of stuffing going on. This looks delicious. Can you tell us what is in this stuffing and how long did it take to cook? Um, we made this stuffing by melting butter, 
carrots, seasoning, onions, and celery. And then we use the bread that we sliced up. And we still have to just bake it in the oven right now. All right. So can I just get your name for the record, please? Everybody's Ariane Kelly. Like trying to figure out who's the face behind this white hat. Because they really can't see your face. So we can just turn right here to the camera and wave and say, good morning, mommy, good morning. we're cooking. <laughs> so what else are you going to have prepared for us today? Um, we also have ham, turkey, pumpkin pie, apple pie. I'm sweet mode. I'm really interested in seeing some of the pumpkin pie you have around here. Any is, Has any been completed as yet or baked as yet? Um, we still have to finish a few. All right. Well, you can get this delicious meal and more right here from these young, inspiring chefs who are working at the University of the Bahamas, Jiminita. I promise you, I will bring you a plate of ham because I love me some turkey and these turkey look delicious. So back to you in the studio.